Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Scraps of Fate patch. I'm on my Stamina Warden, my main class, with front bar, the Black Wolves perfected more, uppercut deals 45% of its damage to all enemies nearby, the range is around 5 meters, means if we hit a target with Wrecking Ball, someone nearby takes 45 damage of it. It's decent, nothing overpowered, and it's something else. Backbar Essence Thief, one of the strongest backbar sets, gives us 10% extra flat damage for 10 seconds, 5k healing and over 4k stamina, but we need to pick up this green blob on the ground, which is sometimes buggy, but should be a problem to be honest. We have 5 seconds time, and on Wardens we have access to Mage Expedition with Bird of Prey, so we should be fast enough. Dennis Mythic, Death Deal's Feet, since the hybrid meta, one of my favorite mythic items, Gives a ton of stamina, magicka and HP, helps for survivability, sustain and even damage. Overall, one of the best one reacts mythic items. Combined with the light armor arena set from the Mansum Arena, Winterborn deals a ton amount of frost damage, only 6 seconds cooldown and even snares the enemies in a 3 meter radius for 50%. Really nice. And as fitter, Magma Incarnate, just for extra stamina magicka region. If you feel too squishy, go with one Lord Warden or Shudan for extra armor. Better option would be instead of Black Ops Prison, for more single tile damage, definitely uh, Winterbar on the front bar. And then Balog, two pieces Balog is monster set. But I'm way too lazy to farm the Mads Marina for hours, those weapons are rarely the only drop at the last arena. If you already have a 2H weapon of Winterbar, then go with Winterbar on the front bar and Balog is monster set. Armor types, one heavy. 3 medium and 3 light, 5 impen, 1 sturdy and 1 well fitted, full prismatic glyphs, definitely needed for extra magicka, then full infuse still on the jewelry for extra healing. I did test some bloodthirsty pieces, but I'm already squishy on this build, we don't have even one defensive set. So, in group, if you prefer more damage, go with full bloodthirsty for 1 way extra recommend full infused here. With the physical morph for stamina region, we have a good amount of magicka region already, not needed. Then 2H more for extra pen, enchantment with the frost damage enchant. With the frost damage enchant, we have the chance to apply the chill status effect, which deals another extra 1k flat damage, unbuffed here, with the glacial presence warden passive. Very nice. Alternative for more AoE damage. Let's say to empower your EOEs, go with the Berserker Glyph. Back bar, sword and board, powered sturdy, with the escape is poisons. Skills Executioner, the single type morph, for small scale, or if you prefer more AOE damage, go with reverse slice. Deep Fissure, still, the Magicka morph, for minor and major beach, almost night penetration, deeds a ton of magic damage. Wrecking Blow now as spammable, which gives major berserk another 10% extra flat damage. After activating this ability, 5 seconds, now better than Dizzy Swing. With Arctic Blast, we already have a powerful AoE stun, so Dizzy not really needed anymore. Bird of Prey, for Mage Expedition, a snare removal, and even gives Minor Berserk. Rally is Bursty, and for Minor Endurance, Downback of Smiting as Aggressive Ultimate. Then Lotus Blossom, the 60 seconds duration buff, which gives Major Savagery, the 12% crit rate, and even heals. I still prefer this one, I think Green Lotus goes only for 20 seconds, so you save a ton of magicka by using the longer morph, bone edge for sustain and a perch, with some vigor self here, ice fortress resistance buff and minor protection, arctic blast, a powerful dot, powerful burst here and an AoE stun, crazy crazy skill, and spell wall as defense ultimate. If you can sustain it, you could go with Crystal Slap here instead of Rally, even if they nerfed it by I think around 30% damage. Still worth to use, especially against all those snipers. If you have sustain issues with Crystal Slap, I would go with the Magicka Morph, the Magicka Jewelry Morph, like this you have another 46 Magicka region, should help a lot. Then Ray Snot for extra resistance, Ulti region, Stamina and Health. Other options are Imperial. Dunmore, Orc, that kind of stuff. Mundus the Warrior for extra weapon damage. Smoke Bear Hunch, definitely needed for extra Magicka stamina region. 30 points in health and the rest in stamina. And potions, the normal twice the potions. CPs, 
by TR, Mastered Arms, Steady Aim and Arm Clad. No exploit anymore without Dizzy. Just use Steady Aim to empower Wacky Blow on your Executioner. Recipe is pretty basic. Sustain by Suffering, Pain Suffuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Combination Prima for Self with Bull Match, Green Lotus, Arctic Blast, Ready, Deep Fissure, Wacky Blow, DB and Executioner. Don't forget to light attack on your back bar to proc a sense thief, then pick up the green blob before this combo or during a combination. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.